NXCAD software training. Let's say about a pattern curve in the sketch option. Now I will start a new sketch. I'm selecting my front view. Okay, done. Now so we are going to see about pattern curve. So this pattern curve contains three options. One is called um, linear pattern. Another one is circular pattern. Another one is general. All these three options we are going to see in detail. So let's see about that. So pattern means uh, it's a taking a copy of the profile what we want in a multiple places. Suppose I have a plate like this. Okay, right now I will switch off my Ah, and one more thing, uh, some people have questioned in my email regarding I have created some automatic dimensions. Uh, suppose I do not want these dimensions means uh, how can I switch off it? That is what the people have questioned actually. Suppose if you do not want the dimensions, whatever you created in automatic dimensions means you cannot delete it. Even if you try to delete it, it is not possible to delete it. But at the same time, we can go any other way. What we can do is since already the sketch is started with the continuous auto dimension because of that you can't delete it now you switch off this auto continuous auto dimension now you delete it it will get deleted okay simple suppose you have created one sketch with the continuous auto dimension in the on condition and you have did some constraints also means that time only people are um, hesitate to create this profile again newly so that only they wanted to delete only the automatic dimensions so in such a cases just go to this continuous auto dimension switch off the auto dimension no dimensions will get switched off but at the same time you can you, you have option to delete the all the dimensions so you can select each dimension and you can delete it that is the way you can delete all these dimensions okay right so this is a plate I have created now so in which I wanted to create one small slot okay or else some profile I am creating whatever it may be any profile you can create it within this you know, even you know need this rectangle also for your understanding purpose I have created it I am going to pattern this small rectangle only okay right now we are let's see now now I am going for the pattern curve so once you get into the pattern curve option there are three options are there you can see here linear circular and the general three options are there we are going to see first with the linear option i am selecting the linear option now there are two ways of uh, linear pattern one is towards only in the horizontal direction i wanted to do pattern that is one direction vertically i wanted to do means that is the vertical direction so in x and y both the directions i wanted to do the pattern means that is direction one and direction two suppose we wanted to do only in one direction means we can choose either any one now i'm choosing only direction one to use direction two i will use in the next time okay right so the direction one means suppose i'm saying vertical means that it will be considered as a vertical as a direction one suppose i'm wanted only in the horizontal direction means that is also considered as a direction one okay don't get confused here so direction one means now i am going to select the curve which i want to pattern i am selecting this curve suppose it is a single curve means it will only a single curve will get selected so that make sure that you are selecting with a connected curve so that all the curves will get selected in a single time okay how it got selected now so this is the curve i wanted to pattern it so i wanted to go only in one direction that is in the horizontal direction only so that i am using direction one option okay right so which direction this linear pattern is about to happen that we have to define either to us plus axis plus x axis you wanted to do it or else in the minus x axis you wanted to do it that direction you have to specify here so select a linear object any linear object we have to select it to define the horizontal whether we are considering we wanted to go this way or else we wanted to go this way suppose i am selecting this line means this pattern will occur only in this manner suppose i am selecting this line means the pattern will occur vertically so this is called as a direction one and a direction two here we are not talking about direction x a direction y so we are talking about direction one whichever the line you select according to that line angle it will go for linear pattern okay so now i am selecting this line so that the pattern will happen horizontally like this suppose 
instead of that i am deselecting it to deselect the direction press the shift key and select in the mouse button one okay the direction got deselected now i wanted to go for vertically means you just select this line so that vertically it will happen suppose it is going in the downwards means we wanted to reverse it means just to click on this reverse button so that the direction will get reversed okay right now i wanted to do in a horizontal manner so that i will deselect this and i will select it in a horizontal manner okay now here also there are three options are there in the spacing so i have selected this rectangle now here there are three counts are there so that only three rectangles including the parent it got selected with three pa three patterns got created here okay now let us see now so here also in the spacing also we have three options now count and pitch count and span and the pitch and span count and pitch means so how many number of quantities you want including the parent that we have to specify and distance between each object each object we have to specify that is called pitch okay right so now i'm going for the first option count and pitch so i want uh, here it is three suppose i want five objects means i will give five okay so the distance between each other is i wanted to specify as 25 mm okay press the tab key you will, will give you a preview option okay this is how it is going to create it so here you see the total number of count is five one two three four five and the pitch distance is between each other it is 25 mm okay that is what it is specified here suppose you wanted to go for 50 mm means you can go for 50 mm also at any point of time we can change this okay so this is how this count and pitch will work suppose i do not want the count and pitch i wanted to go for the other option means let's see that count and span count and span means it's very simple count total number of quantities how many number of this rectangle you wanted to create it that you have to specify that is what this count and span means the overall length from this to the last one whatever you create what is the overall length you want if you give the overall length of 100 means within that you are giving four means so 100 divided by 4 it will create 25 mm spacing okay for example now i am giving four okay the span distance means from this first object to the last object what is the overall distance that's what i'm going to specify i am giving as 100 means 100 divided by 4 25 so that means from this to this it is 25 this to this 25 so overall from this to last object is overall it is 100 mm that is how this count and span will work okay so here quantity you are giving and overall length you are giving in the earlier one quantity you are giving and the individual pictures you are giving now the last one pitch and span pitch and span means what we are saying is we are not going to specify any quantity here we are going to specify between the components what is the distance that you are going to specify and then overall length you are going to specify suppose the overall length is 100 mm means between the pitch you want 25 means 100 divided by 25 you will get four quantities similarly it will work now between the component i wanted to maintain 50 for example okay each component pitch is 50 and overall the distance is around 200 mm means i will get four quantities now okay i will get four quantities 50 50 50 50 this will work in a other way please remember that this will exclude the parent only in this one this will exclude the parent in the other ones including the parent it is considered only in the pitch and span that excludes the parent here one object will come extra okay so the pitch and span will work will come in a additionally one part will come instead of the quantity what you seen earlier okay this is how this option will work now we have seen only in the direction one option only okay suppose i wanted to change the direction one okay mistakenly i have selected this in a horizontal manner i wanted to make this in a vertical means you no need to worry just to press the shift key and the similar just deselect it and select the vertical line it will go vertically suppose you wanted to reverse it just to reverse it it will come like this okay okay now you have chosen the option also wrongly i wanted to go for a different option means you can go for it no problem so count and span you can go again so now i wanted to go only for four items quantity i want only four and the distance is around nearly 200 mm i wanted to maintain so that means 200 divided by 4 that means 50 mm it will take each other 
can see here one two three four this is including the parent please remember that only in the pitch and span it will exclude the parent so only in this the pitch and uh, count and pitch and the count and span will will give the same quantity whatever you specify here except in the pitch and span it will give one component extra because of that excludes the parent don't get confused there okay right now so we have created this object suppose i am okay with this means we can give apply okay this is how it will get created let's see about the pattern curve direction 2 as well so now i am going for pattern curve option so now i wanted to apply direction 1 and as well as direction 2 both options i wanted to use it so that what i am going to do is use direction 2 also i am turning on the same way whatever the options in direction 1 it presents all the options are present here also this is the curve i wanted to pattern it okay i got selected now so how many quantities i wanted to go for four under the pitch between each other is 25 mm i am giving so you can see the preview now so uh, and the linear direction this is my direction of horizontal i am giving it and i am going for the vertical one select linear object this is the direction i wanted to go i wanted to reverse it just to reverse it in the bottom okay then you go for quantity how many quantities so one row second row you got selected now i given two that's why going with the two option two rows suppose i wanted to make it as a four you can go for it four one two three four including the parent one okay suppose you wanted to go for three reduce it to three so that it got reduced to three now the pitch distance between each other the pitch between this vertical direction is 50 now i wanted to reduce it to 25 means you can go for 25 also so this is how it will get created So now um, I'm giving apply. It got created now. So here you can see there is a pattern symbol is present. This specify this. This rectangles are created with the pattern option. If you double click this, you will come to know that what is the quantities and everything is available here. Suppose you wanted to edit this pattern means only the quantity you can able to update on, but pitch you cannot able to change it as per this method okay this is how this object will get created okay let's see the one more option in the same pattern curve so go for the pattern curve here there is an option called create pitch expression the create pitch expression means the expression will get created for each and every dimension each and every parameters whatever we have used here okay so the, let's see about create pitch expression now i am going to select with the object which i wanted to pattern it now I selected it. All the parameters I am keeping it as it is. So only the linear pattern I am giving this. And uh, use direction 2 I am giving like this. I am doing in the reverse side this pattern. Okay, this is done. Now create pitch expression I am giving. I am just giving this expression button on. And then I am going for apply button. If I do like this, what will happen? That means and if we do like this for each and every parameters there will be expressions will be there here you can see now in the earlier case there is no pitch distance were showing okay now the pitch distance are showing that is what the big difference between these two suppose you wanted to edit the pitch distances and others except the quantity then you have to create this you have to turn on this button if you turn on this create pitch expression button then this pitch distances you can modify at any point of time suppose it is 25 now i wanted to make it into 30 means you can make it here also the same i wanted to make it 30 means you can make it okay i wanted to reduce it to 20 means i can reduce it so this can be changed like this suppose if i do not turn on this button now i am turning off this and i am giving okay now if you double click now okay if you double click now only the quantities only will be present you cannot edit the distance between each other that means the pitch cannot be edited this is the big difference between this turning on this button and turning off this button so create pitch expression keep that in the on condition so that it will be helpful to modify any patterns of the sketch if you forgot to do that then whatever the patterns you have already created it you wanted to edit it means there is no possibility you have to delete that pattern whatever you created and you have to recreate it that is the tedious job most of the people will do this mistake uh, while they are starting starting in their career or else in some of the people in the middle of the career also so don't do that mistake please make sure that always this create pitch expression button on
so that you can able to modify the quantity as well as the pitch both you can able to modify okay so this is how this linear button works let's move on to the circular pattern let's say about a circular pattern for circular pattern um, for our understanding purpose i will create one small circle so in that i'm just going to create one small circle over here in the quadrant so this one i wanted to trim it to the certain place like this okay i wanted to pattern this curve okay i wanted to pattern this small semicircular curve across the circle in a 360 degree manner okay so now we will go for pattern curve option okay once you get into the pattern curve option okay once you get into the pattern curve option you can see here there is a settings button is there make sure that it, that is always with a more option sometimes it may be with a less option so in that case you may not able to see some of the options also over here okay so always make sure that you are on the pattern curve of more option okay let's move on so now the curve which one i wanted to pattern just i'm selecting that now i'm going to make it as a single curve suppose if i keep this as a connector curve everything will get selected now okay like this it will happen no my area of interest is only to select only this particular curve and i wanted to pattern only that particular curve across the circle so that i wanted to select only a single curve so that i'm making this filter as a single curve now i'm selecting this okay now i wanted to go for circular pattern select the circular pattern okay now the rotation point which based on which point i wanted to create this pattern so with reference to this center point only i wanted to pattern it so that what i'm going to do is uh, you, you can select this existing circle center point or else even the pattern center point also you can select it so the point i wanted to select it means i can select the existing point just i'm selecting this point so that the point has got selected how come this number sir uh, this circles got pattern means already it's a predefined value of 660 is there based on that this has got created now suppose i wanted to create only for the four places means you can go for four places also okay let's see one by one uh, here you can see angular direction so the angular direction says that here count and pitch count and span pitch and span so this topic we already discussed in the linear pattern itself so the same way only it will work count and pitch means the quantity and the pitch angle you are going to specify suppose you wanted to go for count and span means quantity you are going to specify and span overall what is the angle you wanted to control that's what you are going to give for example in count and span i wanted to control here yeah, control this arc within 90 degree i wanted to create all these six circles six semicircles means we give only 90 within 90 degree all these semicircles will get created so that means 90 divided by 60 whatever the angle it comes suppose um, it is almost um 15 degree see here you can see here so within 90 degree this has got created 90 divided by 60 the pitch has got created 15 degree each it has got created okay this is what count and span span means the overall angle whatever you want you can give it within that this quantity will match so now we are going for the last one pitch and span pitch and span means between each other i wanted to specify and as well as the overall span angle also i wanted to give just i will do undo and then i will do again now i'm going for the same pattern option pattern curve i'm going to select which curve i wanted to pattern it this is the curve i wanted to pattern it circular pattern so which is the point this is the point i wanted to pattern it okay now the last option pitch and span i'm going so what is the pitch between each other i wanted to give so i'm giving it as a 30 degree means 30 okay whatever the span angle i wanted to give i wanted to create within 180 degree so 180 divided by 30 means it means it will come around nearly six uh, semicircles will get selected correct tab key you can press you can see the preview now so excluding the parent this will get created remember that pitch and span will come one object extra since the angle is considered from one place to another place so that one object is coming extra okay this is how it will get created suppose as we seen earlier the create pitch expression must be in the one condition otherwise we cannot able to edit both pitch and angle we cannot able to edit it both we wanted to edit means this button must be in the on condition suppose i am switching off this i am giving apply now suppose you are going for this editing option of this pattern if you double click it only the circular pattern only it is present here suppose i am turning on it then you can able to edit both so make sure that always these buttons are in the on condition okay 
all right so this is how this pattern curve circular pattern will work okay right let's move on to the general pattern the general pattern means nothing as uh, the name specifies um, we can create the pattern wherever we want so there are two options one is with the point option another one is with the with reference to the datum coordinates we can create it now we will see only the point option the datum coordinates option i will tell you little bit later because of we need to cover up about uh, datum planes and uh, how the datums are created how the datum coordinate systems are created i need to convey first and then only i can take about that so that i will tell about only the point option in the general okay so when we about to create any general option i will just create on small profile here like this okay with reference to this i wanted to create this general pattern okay so let's see about um, pattern general pattern pattern i have gone so now i'm going for general pattern so the point so in this so this is the object which i wanted to pattern it from where i wanted to pattern it that is the location it is asking from location point so now i wanted to select this end point means you can select from this is my origin point like i'm conveying now and uh, to which location i wanted to pattern it suppose i have already existingly i have placed some points means to that specific point i wanted to take care of it then i can go for that points i can select only those specific points suppose i don't have a points means i can specify individually also from my end suppose i wanted to specify wherever i want means you can click here you can place here suppose you can place here you can place here wherever i am clicking everywhere the points will get generated so this is how it will get created now i forgot to select the select object select curve i am just selecting it now okay don't mistake me okay this is how this will get generated suppose i wanted to go for some other points means wherever i want i can create it okay this is how this will get created wherever you click everywhere it will get created okay this is follow pattern okay right now i will do undo again i will we'll go one more time with the other option okay pattern curve i'm going now i will select first itself this option object so this is the object which i wanted to pattern so from which point i wanted to pattern it this is the point i wanted to choose it so that i am selecting this line's end point so this is the end point i wanted to consider as my origin of this object okay now where and all i want here i want i have selected it here i want okay in got selected now this is about follow pattern suppose same as input means follow pattern means according to the pattern it will rotate and come suppose uh, same as pattern means it will not rotate the profile will not rotate it will come as it is whatever the rotation angle it is there uh, it will not follow it will come as it is. we will see about this option in detail in the uh, modeling features okay so this is about only in the sketch we are discussing about the same options are going to repeat in the modeling also that will work in a different way that time you can see the difference between what is the difference between same as input and follow pattern okay right so that's it so this is about uh, pattern so since this option is a little bit longer i am completing with this today so let's see in the next session so in the upcoming sessions uh, tomorrow we are going to see about uh, geometrical dimensioning and later we are going to see about a uh, dimensional constraining um and then what are all the remaining options are there in the sketch that also we are going to cover up so with this we are going to stop this sketch tutorial partially uh, so still we have many more options to cover in the uh, sketch. but however i am stopping with this after uh, after next two three sessions i will stop this sketch tutorial and we'll start with the 3d modeling tutorials okay. if you have any doubts or clarifications please write or comment my email id is nh.suresh.g at gmail.com please subscribe to my channel nxcat software training click on the bell icon to get the notification thank you